when you first uh, try and look at a local authority, especially one the size of Birmingham, you'll uh, no doubt be overwhelmed by um, the complex structure uh, that exists. Uh, the council will, will have, does have um, a press uh, department uh, which uh, exists to help, uh, allegedly exists to help uh, journalists uh, find out information. Um, that's a good starting point. Uh, you will also need to understand how uh, all the various departments work. Um, again, you, I think the easiest way to do that is to look at the website and you, if, you, uh, if you persist in, in looking at the website you will be able to uh, drill down and, and work out uh, who's running what and what, what the different departments do, who the officers are in charge and you'll also need to work out the committee structure which uh, enables you to find out who the uh, politicians are who run the various departments for example uh, in most local authorities there will be 10 cabinet members or a maximum of 10 some have fewer Birmingham has 10 who are each given a, a, a portfolio uh, to look after the main the main topics for example education uh, which includes children's social services adult social services leisure um, uh, a number of other finance uh, things like that so you can find out who the uh, cabinet members are who are responsible for that. They can be contacted by email. Uh, whether they'll reply or not is another matter. Um, the officers can be contacted uh, by email uh, and in that way you can you can get an idea of, of, of who's doing what and who, who the people are you need to you need to talk to. But as I, I started off by saying at the end of the day it, it largely comes down to a matter of the politicians and the council officers are trusting the, the journalists that they're, they're being asked to work with um, and this is especially important if you're trying to find out information that they rather was not in the public domain um, you may find yourself having to talk to politicians on an off the record basis uh, that means that although you can use the information they give you uh, you, you can't identify the, the fact that they gave you that information. Um, some people might say, well, I'll give you something on an unattributable basis. That's virtually the same thing. But my bottom line advice to council laws and council officers is always this. If you, if you know something that you don't want to see in a newspaper, don't tell a journalist, uh, whether it's off the record or not, because in doing so, you are you're revealing information and that information will be used by a decent, a decent journalist. One of the things that I've used over, over the years is what I call uh, the jigsaw approach to discovering information. Um, you may have heard about this in, your, in uh, law studies you've done um, about the way courts work, um, which is that uh, sometimes uh, courts impose a ban on uh, reporting something and different, depending on different ways that's approached, journalists can sometimes accidentally find out uh, information that they shouldn't publish uh, by a different journalist publishing different strands of what amounts to a bigger picture. So uh, how does that work in local government? Well, you may speak to Councillor A about something and he might tell you a, a little small part of the story which he doesn't think is very important by itself it probably isn't very important but then you talk to councillor b armed with the information you already have you tell councillor b what you know he may know something more he tells you something more and you've got two bits of information that might enable you to go to someone else another councillor or a council officer perhaps and pick up more bits and gradually you can hopefully piece together uh, a much bigger picture which then enables you puts you in a position of then finally going to the top and uh, letting them know that you know what, what you do know and hopefully you can then put it all together and stand up, um, stand up the story.